وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور When you are weak and the road seems long Remember, just remember, seek strength from the strong When life is a burden and everything is unstable Remember, just remember, Allah is the able When nothing makes sense and you're heading for demise Remember, just remember, Allah is the wise When the way is cloudy and there's no one by your side Remember, just remember, Allah is the only guide When your heart is breaking and your pain makes you fall Remember, just remember, Allah sees it all. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. I'd like to welcome you, dear viewers, to the first in our series, In the Names of Allah. This series, in, we're intending in this series to look at the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to our lives. Uh, not merely to understand them, because of course it is important to understand them, but to understand how we may apply these names in our lives. And the basic verse that we are using as the theme for the overall program is a verse in Surah Al-A'raf, verse 180, in which Allah says there, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا The most beautiful names belong only to Allah, so call on Him with them. So we have Allah instructing us, giving us very clear instructions with regards to His names, that we should use them in our prayer and in our worship. Now Ibn al-Qayyim, he pointed out that making supplication with Allah's names has two levels. The first level is called supplication of praise and worship. The second level is called supplication of requesting and asking. Now when we go to the first level, this basically is a consequence of Allah's instruction to His creatures to glorify and praise Him frequently. As He said in Surah Al-Ahzab, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أُذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ ذِكْرًا كَثِيرًا وَسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا O believers, remember Allah often and glorify His praises morning and evening. And we also have a statement from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud in which he quoted Prophet Muhammad sallam as saying, Because no one is more jealous than Allah, he forbade public and private corruption. And because no one loves praise more than Allah, he praised himself. So from that, we understand that this element of worshipping Allah through praising Him, this is an important element where we will also use Allah's names. I should clarify here though, that... Though Allah here said in this, uh, Prophet Muhammad said with regards to Allah, that no one loves praise more than Allah. This doesn't mean that Allah needs praise. We don't want to be uh, mistaken on this point. Uh, Allah doesn't need our praise. However, He is pleased with our praise because of the fact that when we praise Him, we are worshipping Him. And that's the very purpose of our creation. So when we praise Allah, 
a lot, Allah is very pleased with it because we are engaged actively in worshipping Him on a regular basis. The second level of uh, worshipping Allah with His names, we said, was worshipping Him through supplications of request and asking. This second level is also a consequence of Allah instructing His creatures to call on Him in prayer and to ask Him their needs. As in the verse where Allah said, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ Your Lord said, call on me and I will answer you. So He has instructed us to call on Him. And as different from human beings, human beings when people call on you too often, we're not happy with it. But in the case of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He loves when His creatures call on Him often. So, this is the second level. And according to Ibn al-Qayyim, one should ask for each and everything that one desires using the appropriate name for that request. So, for example, we should say in our prayers, you know, ask directed to Allah, saying, forgive me, O Allah, have mercy on me, because you are the oft forgiving, the most merciful. Al-Ghafoor, Al-Rahim. So we use those names while calling and requesting Allah's uh, forgiveness and His mercy. And this we can also find in statements of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for example, where he said that when we uh, finish our prayers, our daily prayers, we should seek forgiveness of Allah, saying, Astaghfirullah. Then we should supplicate, saying, Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam tabarakta ya dhal jalali wal ikram. O Allah, you are peace, and peace comes from you. May you be blessed, owner of glory and grace. Now, Ibn al Qayyim further mentioned that for every one of Allah's attributes, there is a particular act of worship which results from it and which is necessitated by it. And this is what we will be researching as we go through the various names of Allah. I should mention here also that Allah instructs the believers in our first verse that we spoke of, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ husna فَادْعُوهُ بِهَا He instructs them to worship Him through His most beautiful names. But in practical terms, what we're talking about here is that the believer dedicates his life to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his knowledge or her knowledge of the names of Allah the significance of those names relative to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the effect that those names should have on us as believers. We link these two things together because of the fact that Allah said, worship Him using His names. And at the same time, He also told us, قُلْ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةِ وَنُسُكِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Say, indeed, my prayers, my sacrifices, my living and my dying are for Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. So, that basically identifies the goal of the believer as turning his or her life in its entirety into the worship of Allah. So, this life that we're talking about is a life which should be led in the glory of Allah's names, in the light of that glory. Now, if we go on to the status of knowledge concerning Allah's beautiful names, because we have a general instruction from Prophet Muhammad with regards to knowledge, and that is,